Welcome viewers to the legal segment of Sitare TV. My name is Shweta Khandelwal and I'm an attorney based in Santa Clara practicing US immigration and nationality law. Today we are going to discuss a very popular, complex and misunderstood area of immigration law and that is the concept of priority dates. Now what exactly is the relevance of a priority date in a visa petition, specifically in an immigrant visa petition? A priority date is the date when your immigrant visa petition or the perm is actually filed with the US government. This could be either a family based immigrant visa or an employment based immigrant visa. Each country has the same number of immigrant visas reserved for it as the other. Nationals from India and China have the same number of visas available compared to nationals from another country like Switzerland or even the Vatican City. Now obviously this explains why there is a huge waiting line for people from India and China and it's takes much longer to get a green card if you are a citizen of India or China as compared to being a citizen of any other country. So it is your priority date which will determine how soon you can get a visa as compared to a person from the same country. Now let's take a quick look at the visa bulletin for February. If you look at the visa bulletin for February 2012 for the EB2 category of visa, you can see that currently the government is processing cases that it received on or before January 1st, 2010. The EB3 category shows that the government is processing cases that it received on or before August 15, 2002. Now let's quickly take a look at the visa bulletin for the previous month which is January 2012. The EB2 category shows that the government is processing cases it received on or before January 1st 2009 while the EB3 category shows that the cases received on or before August 8, 2002 are currently being processed. What this means with say reference to the February visa bulletin is that if your perm or your immigrant visa petition was filed any time on or before January 1st 2010, your priority date is now current. We can see that the cases that are filed under the EB2 category are getting processed a lot faster than those filed under the three category, the EB3 category. Obviously, most people want that their cases get filed under the EB-2 and not the EB-3. The question is, is there something that you can do to ensure that your cases are filed in the EB-2 and not the 3 category? Now, there are two issues which will determine whether you are eligible for the EB-2 or the EB-3 based immigrant, uh, employment based immigrant visas. Now most people know that if you want to qualify for the EB2 category, the candidate must have a bachelor's degree plus five years of progressive relevant work experience or a master's degree. But what is also important to remember that the position for which the green card is being filed should also require a master's or should also require a bachelor's plus five years of experience. That is, it is not just enough for the candidate to possess the requisite qualifications. The job position for which the employer is filing the green card must also require the person to possess those qualifications. If you're one of those whose green cards has been filed under the EB3 category and want to move to the EB2 category, please note that you can have two green cards being processed for you at the same time from two different employers. Your best bet would be to find another employer who is willing to sponsor your green card so that you can utilize the experience that you have acquired from your first employer and be eligible for the EB2 category which mandates five years of progressive work experience. I hope you found this session useful.
Next week, we'll take up some other issues in immigration. Maybe we'll discuss some topics in family-based immigration as we've been discussing employment-based immigration for a while. So if you have any questions, suggestions or comments, feel free to email me at shweta at See you next week.